Hi everyone, I'm from uh, the Greater Wellington Regional Council's Flood Protection Department. We're standing beside Te Awe Karangi Hut River. Pollution is a very serious issue to New Zealanders and it's even more so when it runs through a river which backs on to your backyard. It's, a, it's a, an increasing cost on the ratepayer to get rid of all this rubbish. Hutt Valley, where homes have been evacuated, businesses and schools closed. Flow control officers have a bit of a novel problem on their hands at the moment and that's rubber neckers. Still damp in parts outside today. Oh, yeah. The real damage was indoors. Mud in the Not even diplomatic immunity was able to save the Chinese embassy. No interpretation was needed. <laughs> Rush hour traffic badly affected by lengthy delays. Accurate statistics for the wider upper aren't available because the weather station was hit by lightning. Pam and Bill came home from work to find this. An hour earlier, residents told to evacuate. The inside of houses indistinguishable from the outside. We've got an $8,000 grand piano in there that's just... They're trying to lift it up and put it on a washing machine and the TV's had it and everything. Local businesses were also hit hard and some closed for the day. School children were sent home. At its height, the Hutt River running six metres higher than usual. Here, a service bridge washed away. It had water, sewer, gas and telecom on it. Locals say they've never seen the river so high. Oh, I've never seen it like this, not raging so much. Hutt Valley residents underwater and under pressure as the Hutt River overflowed almost a kilometre away. But the speed it rose caught many by surprise. This riverside showroom was dry when people arrived at work this morning. Within hours, they were towing their cars to high ground. So these ones that you can see in behind here are all um, uh, waterlogged and we've just got a, a mechanic down there trying to uh, get them cleaned up. Well, good evening from the Beehive Studio in Wellington tonight. Second time in two weeks under the waters of the Waikanae River. Bulldozers working frantically to save them from complete destruction. The homeowners taking no chances. Time to get out. She's had it now. Others hoping to keep the water at bay. The swollen Waitohu stream threatening to sweep away the bridge. Oh. For the second time, motorists are facing a long detour as repairs continue. Net Services expecting the rains to ease tonight, but with 500 millimetres yet to come down off the Tararua Ranges, the clean-up is likely to continue for some time yet. The road to the Wairarapa was closed, as was the rail link. Even if the route south were open, many would have trouble reaching them with floods spreading out across the province. The same flood water is also threatening the Waiohimi Bridge near Greytown. In the town itself, pensioner flats were evacuated as a precaution. A lot of people say, what are you going to do for us? My question back is, what are you going to do for yourself? Because we may not be able to help you. Sure, we will help if we can, but don't expect the police or the fire service to be there. They probably won't. While the worst of the rain's over, a massive mop-up lies ahead. Charlotte Lenny, One Network News.